to uh, join us. Uh, my name is Al Ahrens. Uh, I am a regional manager for auto engineering, and I'm part of a team consisting of Mike Griffith, Amy Johnson, and Kristen Smith. And together we support the auto portfolio of branded communication products. So before I start the webinar, just a little bit of housekeeping here. Um, towards the end of the seminar, we will have some question and answers, and you'll have a chance to submit those uh, through the Q&A process. So in the meantime, we're asking you not to raise your hand because we have everyone on mute right now. And again, an opportunity at the end of the presentation uh, to take questions. So I'm here today to talk about an exciting enhancement to an already exciting and certainly unique product. But before I do that, I wanna quickly speak to a real issue that affects all of us. You know, our world is filled with potentially harmful noise. Sometimes these sounds are annoying. Sometimes they're actually harmful. How many of these scenarios have you encountered recently? For example, have you been around some very loud traffic? How about at a concert or other music venues, such as a bar or restaurant? And certainly you may have walked by a construction site where someone's using a jackhammer, which can be extremely loud. You know, we always don't pay attention to these sounds, but we really should because the long-term effects range from tinnitus or tinnitus, as some people call it, to significant and permanent hearing loss. So why the need to protect ourselves from these sounds? Why is that so important? Predictably, the loud noises are a primary cause of hearing loss. Now, OSHA has defined a high noise environment as over 85 decibels for a prolonged period of time. And just to give you a quick anchor point, conversation that you listen to in most environments is anywhere from 60 to 65 dB. Now, even shorter times with louder noises can be hazardous to your hearing. Safe exposure time, as you can well imagine, decreases exponentially with volume. For example, if I look at 91 dB, and that's my exposure level, I can realistically be in that environment without any kind of hearing protection for about two hours. But as soon as it goes up just three decibels to 94, my safe exposure time decreases in half. Now going to the bottom of this chart on the left, at 106 decibels, my exposure time, safe exposure time, is three minutes and 45 seconds. That's not a lot of time. At 150 dB, damage occurs in less than one second. So you can see why it's so important for us to have hearing protection. Now, how vulnerable are we to loud noises? You know, it's inevitable that sometime during our daily lives, we're gonna be exposed to loud sounds. For example, do you work around heavy equipment? Do you work in a manufacturing line? Are there accident scenes you may come across? Fire ground operations? Certainly sporting venues and sports shooting. All of these are opportunities for us to be exposed to loud damaging noise. And yet, even though this is a part of our daily lives, we need to hear clear communications as well as the sound around us. So what is the solution? What can we do? Well, an answer is the noise barrier micro. These are earplugs with active adaptive hearing protection. Well, that's an interesting phrase, but what does that mean? These are earplugs that listen to the ambient sound around us and adjust accordingly. In other words, if you have 100 dB of constant noise, and earlier I mentioned how constant noise can be damaging to your hearing, these attenuate down to 85 dB, again, that OSHA says is a safe level. 
they give you full situational awareness. How many times have you put foam plugs in your ears and the world becomes so muffled that you really can't hear anything clearly? That's why you need situational awareness. They give you impulse noise protection or blast protection, again, for, from guns or very loud banging noises. They give you hearing enhancement capability. You can get up to five to six decibels of, I call it, hearing acuity. So things are louder around you and brighter in sound. They're fully rechargeable. Up to 16 hours of active use on each charge, and they fit in the convenient case. Very portable, very easy to use. So let's go a little bit uh, farther into the product features and benefits. We talk about full situational awareness. And if you look at the illustration uh, with the, uh, towards the bottom there, you'll see the clear reception of ambient sounds all around this individual in that dome, in front, behind, left, right, and above. This is critical. So if you think about an active shooter situation, the first responder on the team has to know where that sound is coming from and react appropriately and accordingly. Even exposure to constant noise, as I mentioned, at lower volumes can cause permanent damage. That's why you need this kind of protection. They're very lightweight and comfortable for all day use. It's important in hot environments, especially for people working outside. They don't interfere with helmets. How many times have you seen first responders come on scene wearing a very large helmet? These don't interfere. They just fit into the ear, very convenient to, to use. They're tested for active use in wind and rain. They have an integrated windscreen on the top that prevents any kind of distortion or cutting out, if you will, of the signal in a strong wind. And of course, the earbuds are rated at IP67. Important if you're working outside in a high moisture environment. You know, we get some great reviews for this product. Um, if you look at some of these reviews, this is by far the best purchase, purchase I've ever made. Great for shooting, blocks out loud sounds, and saves your eardrums. Great battery life, very much worth it. And if you take a second to read these, I think the theme is, number one, yes, they're a little bit more expensive than other types of hearing protection. But these individuals have certainly seen the value of the product versus the cost. Noise barrier micro, unprecedented sound clarity with maximum hearing protection for continuous and impulse sounds. It's a great product. A lot of feedback that we receive though is these are great, but can they connect to a radio? Well, up to this point, the answer was no. But now, we'd like to introduce the noise barrier micro with comms ear tips. So users can have the advanced hearing protection of the micro now coupled with receive audio radio communications. It's kind of marrying the best of both worlds for us. So when we talk about communication, enhanced communication capabilities, the new micro ear tip solution works with any auto acoustic tube kit. So you're familiar with the three flange ear tip currently used on the micro. If you look at the photograph on the left, it looks very similar to the three flange. However, you'll notice a little tube on top. So the incoming communications are fed into the micro through what we call a side branch on the ear tip, and that's what that tip is. Now, an advantage is that they e easily fit on the stem of the micro, just like the three flanges that are currently on the product. And what's really nice is the micro can still be recharged in the base, even with the acoustic tube connected. As I mentioned earlier, it works with all auto surveillance kits and earphone kits for speaker mics. So let's take a look at the product offering. We have a single ear and a dual ear. The single ear, you would use the micro on the other side 
without the communications coming in to give you total hearing protection in both ears. Or you may opt for the dual ear. Here you get protection and comms in both ears. So I just wanted to point something out very quickly on the dual ear. As you can see, there's a longer path for the audio to travel. So we actually upgraded the transducer in the dual ear kit to a 32 ohm, which delivers a little bit louder, I'll say brighter type of volume. As an FYI, by the way, a transducer Deucer is essentially the speaker on the base of the earphone kit. So let's take a quick look at some of the products that can be used with the new earpiece. Yeah, it can be used with the auto surveillance kits and throat mics. And oh, by the way, we do have a throat mic that works with the auto connect system. You can also use it with that throat mic, which now gives somebody the ability to talk hands-free at the same time, have their hearing protection in place all the time. The auto wired speaker kits with earphone jacks and the Bluetooth NC2 speaker mic are great candidates for this product as well. So you can see that there's a lot of common application. So let's take a little bit of a, a dive here, if you will, on the product advantages. The advanced hearing protection with clear incoming communications for two-way radios works with any auto acoustic tube earphone kit. As I mentioned before, it's easy to convert the current micro to the new capability. Literally just take off the ear tips that are on the micro right now and replace the ear tips with a new enhanced version. It allows the micro to work with auto throat mics, surveillance kits, speaker mics, all products that your customers and consumers use on a regular basis. Available in single or dual ear configurations. I showed you those photographs a few minutes ago. And this is really the ideal solution for law enforcement, large sports and concert venues, and loud continuous noise environments such as factories. You can imagine large sports and concert venues. How many times have you heard um, of large concerts happening, let's say in, in Soldiers Field in Chicago? It's a great opportunity to provide the staff there with hearing protection and full communication. It's really perfect for anyone that uses radios in noisy environments, including people like range officers that have to have clear critical communication. It's a big difference between shoot and don't shoot, and they need to hear both. So we're going to be launching four items, the Noise Barrier Micro Enhanced Dual Ear Communications Kit, or comms kit, includes a transducer, the acoustic tubes, and four ear tips. We'll also have the single ear comms kit, which includes an acoustic tube, and two ear tips. The Noise Barrier Micro Enhanced Single Ear Comms Kit, which includes a transducer and two ear tips. And then of course, the replacement tips themselves, which includes six ear tips. So when we look at this product, it's really the total solution. You get advanced hearing protection and situational awareness that comes with the micro. Now you can get clear incoming radio communications. It really provides the most innovative hearing protection on the market. So when you couple the innovation along with the fantastic reviews that we get on the micro, it certainly is a winning product for everyone. So I'll be taking questions and comments. And of course, if you want more information, you can certainly contact your local representative or your auto sales manager. And the information, the contact information is listed below for Mike and myself. So I'd like to thank you very much. And I'll be taking questions now.
So one of the questions that were frequently asked is that these ear tips are a little bit more expensive than others. And why is that? So unlike mass produced ear tips, which are typically just the standard three flange, these ear tips are custom made. They're using an innovative manufacturing process because they have to perform in intense situations and critical situations. And so we actually, um, as I said, they're custom made. So it takes a little bit more time and effort and material. So here's a question. Are these available now? Yes, they are. They are available and they're ready to ship. So again, contact your representative or you can contact us at Otto. You know, we receive another, uh, another question that we receive often is, do these have Bluetooth? So we're asked that question many times and they do not have Bluetooth. Although we're looking at that feature, there's certainly some pros and cons of Bluetooth. The micro is very compact and it's difficult to maintain that size if we had these with Bluetooth. Bluetooth takes a lot of power and because of that, you would need a larger unit. We receive feedback also that some agencies do not want or are not allowed to use Bluetooth. So although we're looking at this capability down the road, right now it does not have Bluetooth. So I'll give it another minute or so to see what kind of other questions we get. Okay, well, I don't have any more questions that we received. Again, I wanted to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to listen to the webinar. We're really excited about this product and we're excited for the opportunity to enhance the micro. Again, a product that has already been very, very well received in marketplace. So again, thank you very much. And we look forward to working together in the future.